What I consider health and well-being, whether it be physios, chiros, osteos, EPs, naturopaths, personal trainers, and anyone, a massage therapist, and anyone else who I've forgotten. So I'm a physio, but I'm definitely not biased towards physiotherapy treatments. I have no problem referring to great chiros, great osteos, great podiatrists, and I really don't like referring to, like, for lack of a way to put it, shitty physios shitty chiros, shitty osteos. And like any profession out there, there's people that are great at what they do, and there's people that either are happy with mediocrity or they're just not very good. Okay, so for my belief as a physio is I don't hold myself above any of the other professions. I think we all work really well hand in hand, and I'm the first one to admit that I can learn a lot from even from anyone out there in the health industry. I, I get a lot of value going out and just watching what PTs do and some of their lifting techniques and their training techniques. The worst things I find that physios do is actually just prescribe people three lots of ten exercises with no real focus on whether they're going for strength, power, endurance, whether it needs to be more plyometric driven. And that's where we can learn a lot from PTs within the community. I can learn a lot from EPs. And I guess that's the big thing for me is there's no egos in, there shouldn't be egos in the healthcare profession. You know, one person isn't better than the next and there's always somewhere out there to suit every patient's needs. And if you're not really getting an answer or a correct diagnosis, or if you don't feel that you're not being wowed by your practitioner, then it's pretty simple, go find someone else. 